just do some little game prep stuff. That's it. How has game prep been this week? It's been good. It's been good. Today was a uh, you know a, a, a good hot day, and uh, you know I thought that uh, mentally they got a little fatigued, uh, but but then picked it up and finished. I think I thought pretty good, uh, but uh, you know it's kind of what I was hoping for today. Really kind of push them. Uh, we'll, we'll, we'll take the pads off tomorrow, really back them off. And, you know, I think part of the, the mental uh, fatigue is, you know, it's just been so long preparing. And, uh, you know, they're, they're ready. They're ready to go and ready to get out there and see what, what, uh, what they can do on game day. But it's still a, still a process you got to go through to, to, to get them ready. And, you know, every day counts, every, every drill, every minute that we have to prepare them. And um, it's been a solid week. Uh, tomorrow will be a very big day because, you know, that's kind of when we bring it all together from a from a team standpoint and uh, um, you know big important meetings uh, and then we'll uh, have our normal game prep on Friday you ready to play how much of a significance does this game have on recruiting because you guys have recruited Georgia hard uh, well I mean it's it's important um, I mean Georgia is obviously about 20 miles from here so we're, we're uh, we, we recruit Georgia like it's in state. You know, somebody was asking me that today, and I, I you know, some, I've been a part of big wins against your, your so-called team that you're recruited against, where you still don't get the guy you think it might matter, and then I've been on the other side of it where you get beat by them and think it might hurt you, but it doesn't. So, um, I, but at the end of the day, I mean, it's just it's just a huge game in that um, you have opportunity to get so many people on your campus and uh, to have game day and all that, and to showcase Clemson. You know, I think that's the big thing. Uh, but uh, you know, at the end of the day, when, when guys make decisions, it's it's about the program. It's about what they feel like the best fit for them is. It's not necessarily about you know one particular game. I guess it could though open up doors for future years. Maybe not the guys this year, but maybe two years down the road because you went head to head with them and beat them. Wouldn't that help? Yeah. It open up in that state. Uh, well, you know, we I think the biggest thing is we just have to do a great job uh, in really. You know, building relationships and, and recruiting that state very hard, and we do. I mean, like I said, we recruit it just like it's an in-state area for us. We're not going to be successful at Clemson if we don't recruit Georgia well, if we don't recruit North Carolina well, you know, Florida uh, in particular. And uh, uh, you know, we've done a good job there. And you know, I mean, heck, it's you know, a lot closer to a lot of areas in Georgia with a lot of prospects than, than it is to a lot of the areas in our own state just because of where we're positioned. So it just makes sense that, that uh, we put, you know, a, a lot of emphasis on being able to recruit that state very well. Uh, but, uh, you know, sure, absolutely. Well, just the fact that I think we play uh, a tough schedule every year and, and that uh, we develop our players and that we win consistently and, you know, you can graduate with a great education and go to the NFL or, and do, do all those things. I think those are ultimately the things that, uh, you got to have in your program to, to recruit well. Has anything changed on the injury front since yesterday? No, no, it's all the same. Uh, you know, Leggett uh, is practicing, and uh, I think he could play if, if needed. Uh, but we'll, we'll right now our, our plan is to have him available and, and really only have to use him if we have to. Uh, just simply because of where we are game plan wise, we feel good about uh, you know the guys that we've been working and. Uh, it's probably going to be Saturday night when he's really feeling good. Um, but uh, if we have to have him, I think he'll be ready to play. Coach, can you remember an opener that means more to the program starting out the season? Um, well, I mean, they're, they're all big. I mean, all the openers are big. But, uh, you know, this one's unusual because I, I, don't, I, don't, think, I don't think Clemson's ever opened up uh, I don't think there's ever been two top ten teams in an opener at Clemson, so uh, it's you know it's, it's it's big from that standpoint. And game day and, and it's Clemson Georgia, so uh, you know all those things are are just things that have added a little spice to it. But you know to me the opener is always big. Uh, you want to get off to a good start. You want to win that first game. You've been practicing forever. It's your first chance to go and play, and you want to you want to put your best foot forward. You want to get off to a good start and get a little wind in your sail. And, uh, you know, when you lose the opener, it, it, it's, it's always disappointing. You lose any game, is disappointing. But, um, you know, that's, uh, that's why you play the game. But, you know, we're, we're just excited to be able to have the opportunity to go compete and, and uh, you know, see where we are. Are you worried with the amount of people that are going to be watching the game and 
the amount of coverage that's going to be there about maybe some of the young guys getting butterflies in their stomach? Is there any way you can combat that? Uh, well, you know, most of our young guys are, are just depth guys for us. Um, you know, we've got some pretty experienced guys that are coming back that have been in some big games. Uh, we've got, uh, you know, we've got a couple of freshmen on, on uh, offense that are backup guys for us. Uh, I think we've got maybe three freshmen in our two deep on defense. Uh, and uh, we've got some sophomores that maybe are going to play a little bit more. But for the most part, I think we've got uh, you know pretty good experience with guys that have been in big games. And it's our third SEC game in a row. It's our third top ten game in a row. So it's not like these guys uh, you know hadn't been to the dance before. If you could give a message to the fans considering how important home field advantage is, what would that be? Man, let's just let's just have Death Valley at, at its best. Uh, just be just be who we are. I mean, you know, it's just uh, it's always awesome every time we we uh, we kick it off in that stadium. But show up early, uh, just spring the energy. You know, I think that is going to be a, a, a huge factor in this ball game. And uh, you know, just like I told the team, you know, uh, let's handle the adversity. I mean, it's foolish to think that that everything's going to go your way and that there's not going to be some adversity. But, but when that adversity comes, you know, stay behind these guys and, and continue to, uh, you know, bring that 12th man advantage into the game because there's no question we, we have a huge, huge advantage here at home um, when our when our crowd is is rocking like they're capable of. But I, I don't, I'm not real worried about it to be honest with you. I, I know that uh, everybody's going to show up. Everybody's excited to get this thing going. It's Clemson, Georgia. Uh, it's the opener, and uh, you know, Death Valley's back open for business. So uh, I just I can't wait, can't wait to, to get out there and and uh, celebrate with, uh, and, and, and enjoy the evening with uh, a bunch of people in orange. Have you thought about what you're going to tell the guys before you run on the field on Saturday? Uh, yeah, a little bit. Yeah. Give us a little insight into that. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> Anything else? Thanks, sir. Okay. okay. Thanks, guys. Thank Appreciate it. Good luck to you. All right.